Hi folks, uh, welcome to Mobius Adventures' first podcasting attempt. Uh, tonight I want to talk a little bit about what's coming up as far as Tattered Magics and our attempts to record some of our sessions uh, of the playtest, which would hopefully demonstrate actually playing the game, uh, which is very similar to the Aliens and Asteroids uh, system itself, because it's pretty much basically the same. And then uh, we bolted on some magic uh, in addition. And the magic is very freeform and fluid, and hopefully that will come across in the actual play. But we have a, a group of uh, players that has been fantastic as far as creativity and pushing the bounds of what the system can do. We have a... Uh, uh, some of them ha were among the folks who helped me with Aliens and Asteroids when we were playtesting that a couple of years ago. So that was Shannon and Kay. And KB joined us too. Um, we also now have Robert and Dan. Um, and Victoria is going to join us as well. Uh, so we have a, a pretty good group. Uh, and a, a, an interesting cross-section of characters, I think. So... We have everything from a young, enthusiastic ghost hunter, who Shannon plays, to a jaded Hollywood actress and former child star who sees ghosts and kicks butt as a martial artist. Um, then we have a an old, uh, I mean elderly, uh, ex-priest who is experimenting with magic in various ways. Uh, we have a character who's a survivor who, believe it or not, uh, can now transform into a raven, um, which is very interesting, but uh, has premonition magic. Um, and then we have Alvin, who is uh, hunting witches, I think is, is basically what it boils down to, and he's still trying to figure out what all his magic can do. So it's very interesting. So the, the whole story takes place in the fictional town of Plunkett, Wyoming, which is somewhere near the Tetons in the north northwest corner of Wyoming, where a bit of a disaster occurred when the Fae decided to return to Earth for the first time in a couple of thousand years. They were put away by uh, Merlin, so they've been working their way back into uh, our world for a while because this is a multiverse and multiverses rub together and that's where these tattered holes come through. So the Fae uh, actually have a lot of magic in their world but they are itching to get back to ours so that they can cause some havoc and subjugate the masses so to speak, slave, uh, enslave us all and turn us back into their play toys. They miss us. Uh, and the group fought the first incursion that they had and uh, didn't quite stop it. They actually came really close uh, in Plunkett. And as they were flying out of town at the end of the final battle, they watched in dismay as all of these giant fey dogs, which were pretty much hellhounds, rushed back into a portal they thought was closed uh, as another figure opened it back up. So there are all sorts of enter entertaining multi-dimensional doors and magics and um, they dealt with some ogres and some hobgoblins and goblins. Uh, they, they saw an elven mage. They've had to deal with the wild hunt. And uh, so at the end of that adventure they were actually joined this group known as the Tattered, which are the remnants of the group that helped out Merlin back in the day who closed the the gates to Underhill and they've been waiting for the Fae to try and in, to come back. So the uh, Tattered have been training anybody who shows the slightest inkling for magical talent and that's ended up being some had, having a few interesting folks um, so they trained our group, so they went from, I think they were level 3 when they finished the, the opening salvo to uh, level 5 now, and they've been sent back to Plunkett to deal with some of the fallout. Uh, the fallout being uh, 
uh, a whole bunch of people are in a coma because the hellhounds didn't take bodies, they took spirits. And trying to figure out what happened to those folks and help them out, as well as the uh, new threat, which is a group of vampires that have moved in in the uh, in the chaos, so to speak. They woke something up, and that creature has been causing some cre some issues for the nice folks of Plunkett. The CDC is in town. Uh, managing a temporary hospital for the coma patients, and there was recently a um, a murder, multi-murder, that was uncovered in an older part of Plunkett that um, basically led the, um, the, the townsfolk to call for aid, and the Tattered sent this team back to try and figure out what's going on. So we have all sorts of fun stuff going on. Um, we're going to pick up tomorrow night where the group was investigating the hospital and trying to figure out what was going on uh, with some of the deaths that had been going on there. And two of the members got caught. They, they were asked to leave a while back and the two of the members got caught in another room. They discovered some interesting things and then had to find ways to flee. So that's where we're gonna pick it up tomorrow. So I'm excited to kind of share this with everybody. I think it's a fun story. I think it's, uh, we have an amazing group of role players who have really ramped up um, not only what, what the story is about and what their characters are about, but uh, how the system Kind of reacts and hopefully we'll, we'll deal with some of that in the various types of magic that each of these characters has to to bring to the fore everything from alchemy to premonitions to shape changing to martial arts magic to language based magic and symbology there's all sorts of stuff so we have a little bit of for everybody uh, there might even be some witches in the group we're not sure we have a new new member joining us tomorrow uh, and we'll see what she has to create. So it'll be interesting. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I just wanted to give you guys a little taste and see how this records uh, on my laptop. So, so far it seems to be doing okay. So again, this is Brian Fitzpatrick, or just Fitz, from Mobius Adventures. Um, looking forward to sharing the madness of our uh, Tattered Magics playtest group, which meets about once a week and uh, sharing that with you. So stay tuned. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks all. Uh, make sure you check out our website at mobiusadventures.com for additional information about aliens and asteroids and tattered magics. And if you have any questions, uh, be sure to drop me an email at fits at mobiusadventures.com. Thanks all. We'll talk to you soon.